Hey everyone, it's Joe and welcome back to Human Fluence. Today we're diving into New Age beliefs, but we're going to explore them in a way that strips away the fluff. No woo, no mysticism. Just grounded, practical ideas. And along the way, we're going to look at some opposing perspectives too. Where they get close to the truth, but miss the mark. We'll explore four main beliefs. Manifestation, ascension, energy and vibration, and synchronicity. You've heard these ideas before, but today let's break them down and see where the magic really happens. When you apply them in the real world. In a world seeking light amidst darkness, we enlighten minds, we awaken souls. Together we ignite the spark of transformation. For when you confront your own shadow, you unveil your inner light. Human Fluence, creating a new reality. Let's kick it off with manifestation. You've probably heard people say that if you want something bad enough, you just need to think about it and it'll show up. Sounds simple, right? But there's a lot more nuance to it. Manifestation is essentially about focusing your mind on a goal and aligning your actions to make it happen. It's about intention paired with action. When you set an intention, your brain begins to notice opportunities that align with that goal, thanks to something called the reticular activating system. Ever notice how, when you start thinking about a certain car or topic, suddenly it seems to appear everywhere? That's your brain filtering information based on your focus. Now, on the other side, there's a common opposing belief that willpower alone is all you need to achieve anything. It's the mindset of just grind harder. And while determination is important, it's not the whole picture. Willpower without intention, without clarity of what you truly want, can leave you spinning your wheels. You might be working really hard, but in the wrong direction. The key is to combine that willpower with focused intention. It's not just about pushing, it's about steering. You need to know where you're going otherwise, your efforts can feel aimless. Manifestation when done right is not about just thinking or just doing, it's about both. It's about aligning our thoughts, emotions, and our actions with a clear goal. And yes, sometimes it feels almost magical, but the real magic happens when you're both mentally and physically engaged in the process. Imagine trying to grow a garden. You don't just plant seeds and walk away. You tend to them. You nurture them. Manifestation is like that. Intention being the seed, but action, the watering and care, they work together. Next, let's talk about ascension. In New Age circles, it's often talked about as raising your vibration, evolving spiritually, or even reaching a state of higher consciousness when you're somehow above the material world. But here's where things get a little tricky. Ascension is really just about personal growth. It's about becoming more aware of who you are, understanding your thoughts, feelings, and your actions and evolving through that process. It's not about floating off into the clouds and leaving the physical world behind. It's about becoming a better version of yourself right here and right now. Now here's where an opposing idea comes in. This notion that in order to grow spiritually, you need to transcend the physical world entirely. This idea misses the mark because it suggests that the material world is something to escape from. But the truth is, we're meant to live in this world and learn from it. You don't ascend by leaving the world behind, you ascend by integrating what you learn here, growing through your challenges, and applying those lessons in your day-to-day -day life. So when we live as if ascension is real, not trying to escape life's difficulties. We're using those challenges to evolve. 
we're looking at how we can grow emotionally, spiritually, and mentally within the context of the world we're in. It's about finding wisdom in everyday moments. The goal isn't to rise above it all. It's to bring those truths down into the reality we're living. Right here. Now let's talk about energy and vibration. You've probably heard phrases like raise your vibration or stay high vibe. What does that even mean? And how does it apply in a grounded way? Energy and vibration without all the woo is really just about your emotional and mental state. When you're in a positive mindset, when you're feeling optimistic, grateful, hopeful, that's your high vibe. When you're down, stressed or anxious, fearful, that's your low vibe. It's not a mysterious force, it's basic human psychology. The better you feel, the better you function. Here's where the opposing idea comes in. The belief that you always need to be in a high vibe state. That anything negative is inherently bad. That's where we get into toxic positivity. Where people feel pressure to constantly be upbeat, even when they're going through tough times. This is where it misses the mark, because life is not about avoiding negative emotions, it's about processing them. We're not robots, we feel a full range of emotions and that's okay. Living as if energy and vibration are real means taking care of your emotional and mental well-being. Not by forcing positivity, but by practicing balance. It's about recognizing when you're in a low state and giving yourself the tools to shift when you're ready. Whether it's through mindfulness, talking to someone, or simply taking a break. It's not about pretending everything's great all the time. It's about learning how to navigate the ups and downs with awareness and compassion for yourself. And finally, let's talk about synchronicity. Those moments when things just seem to align in a way that's too perfect to be coincidence. Is it the universe sending you a message? Or is something else going on? Synchronicity is really about recognizing patterns in your life. We are natural pattern seekers. We look for connections between events, people, and experiences because it helps us make sense of the world. When something happens that seems meaningful, like bumping into an old friend right when you were thinking about them, it feels like a sign. But what's happening is that your brain is highlighting something already been on your mind. The opposing idea here is that everything is a sign from the universe. Nothing is coincidental. But this can lead people to becoming overly reliant on external signs, to make decisions, waiting for the universe to tell them what to do next. This misses the mark because it takes away your personal agency. You don't need the universe to validate every move you make. Sometimes you're the one who has to make the decision, regardless of whether a sign appears. Living as if synchronicity is real means being open to patterns and coincidences without letting them control you. It's about recognizing when things align, taking note, and then deciding for yourself what action to take. The magic isn't in the sign itself, it's in your awareness, in how you choose to respond. It's not about waiting for the perfect moment to act, it's about acting when the time feels right, whether or not a sign shows up. So when we live as if these new age beliefs are true, but without the woo, we're not waiting for the universe to hand us everything on a silver platter. We're taking responsibility for our intentions, our actions, and our growth. We're recognizing the power of our focus, but we're also putting in the effort. And along the way, we're balancing the emotional ups and downs while staying open to the patterns that life presents us. Here's the thing, these beliefs 
when grounded in reality, become tools to live more intentionally and more mindfully. But we don't want to fall into the trap of thinking it's all about willpower, or that we need to escape the world, or that we have to be positive 24-7. The real power comes from applying these concepts in a balanced way. The progression or consciousness through New Age ideas is deeply rooted in the contributions of not only modern thinkers, but also ancient occultists, alchemists, and esoteric philosophers who laid the groundwork for much of what we see today. Hermes Trismegistus, often regarded as the father of alchemy, introduced the principle of as above, so below, a concept that bridges the gap between the physical and the metaphysical. This teaching found in the Hermetic texts laid the foundation for the belief that the universe and the self are reflections of one another, echoing what is now referred to as the law of correspondence, an early precursor to manifestation. Paracelsus, the 16th century alchemist, further developed these ideas by exploring the connection between the spiritual and the material world emphasizing the role of nature's hidden forces in healing and transformation. His work foreshadowed modern ideas of energy and vibration, as he believed that everything in the universe, including the human body, vibrates with vital life force or quintessence. This concept is mirrored in the New Age belief that everything, from emotions to objects, has a frequency that can be tuned for personal growth and healing. In the realm of the occult, Madame Blavatsky was a pivotal figure in connecting ancient esoteric knowledge with modern metaphysical thought. Through her writings, particularly The Secret Doctrine, she brought attention to the idea of ascended masters and the evolution of the soul, ideas that would later inform the New Age concept of ascension. Her teachings encouraged the pursuit of higher wisdom, through spiritual discipline, a theme that resonates in today's understanding of personal transformation and self-realization. Blavatsky's integration of Eastern and Western mystical traditions helped bridge this gap between different metaphysical systems, reinforcing the interconnectedness of all spiritual paths. The alchemists, particularly those like Isaac Newton, who practiced both scientific inquiry and alchemy, saw the material world as a manifestation of spiritual truths. Newton's work in transmuting base metals into gold was a metaphor for the transformation of the self, a concept that would later be echoed in the New Age idea of turning one's inner lead or negative emotions and limiting beliefs into gold, spiritual enlightenment and personal empowerment. Alchemy's symbolic language around transformation and purification directly influenced modern ideas of personal ascension and self-actualization. In the 20th century, Manly P. Hall continued this lineage by synthesizing the teachings of ancient philosophers, occultists, and alchemists into a body of work that explored the mysteries of the universe and the human soul. His seminal work, The Secret Teachings of All Ages, covers everything from the symbolism of alchemy to the esoteric traditions of the world's major religions. Hall showed how these ancient teachings weren't just abstract metaphysical ideas, but practical tools, echoing today's emphasis on using spiritual knowledge to manifest real change. And then we have the metaphysical contributions of Rudolf Steiner, particularly his exploration of anthroposophy further expanding on the notion that spiritual evolution is intertwined with physical existence. Steiner's work emphasized the idea that human beings are on a continual journey of spiritual development, both individually and collectively, which aligns with the New Age belief in ascension as a process of gradual awakening, rather than a sudden leap to a higher realm. His ideas also touched on synchronicity, as he explored the interconnectedness of all beings and events through the lens of karma and spiritual growth. From an occultist standpoint, Aleister Crowley introduced the concept of true will in his system of Thelema, 
where he emphasized the importance of aligning one's actions with their deeper spiritual purpose. While Crowley's teachings are more esoteric and intense, the underlying message of living with intention and aligning with one's highest self is mirrored in modern New Age concepts of manifestation and living in alignment with one's purpose. In the metaphysical realm, Edgar Cayce, known as the Sleeping Prophet, contributed significantly to the understanding of the subconscious and its role in healing and personal development. His teachings on the Akashic Records and the Collective Unconscious have influenced New Age ideas about synchronicity and soul evolution, suggesting that the patterns we experience in life are part of a greater cosmic plan that can be accessed through deep inner work and reflection. From alchemists like Paracelsus and Newton to occultists like Blavatsky and Crowley, to metaphysical thinkers like Casey and Steiner, create a continuous thread that runs through the New Age movement. Their work laid the foundation for modern interpretations of energy, ascension, manifestation, and synchronicity, showing that the evolution of consciousness is not a new phenomenon, but a natural progression of human understanding, constantly building on ancient wisdom and reinterpreted through modern experience. This broad tapestry of thought and the transmutation of metals is symbolic of personal transformation. To the exploration of cosmic synchronicity, demonstrates how each generation has expanded upon the last, deepening the collective consciousness and making the esoteric accessible, practical, and transformative in today's world. And there you have it. Thanks for joining me. I hope this gave you a fresh perspective on how to live with intention, awareness, and practical insight. And if you found this talk helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments. Stay curious, stay grounded, and remember, life happens in the balance. Human influence, out.